Alrighty. It's been a while. Let's watch this in full first. And actually, I had some notes at the beginning, and it's probably because I haven't seen it for a while. So if there's anything where I feel like, really, <laughs> I can understand. It's just, to me, the beginning of this. That setting up where it's fairly quiet through there. And I know it's in there. There's a slight move in here, but as a CG version, it's very one axis, very straight with no like ambient movement through there. And then just kind of going down in a somewhat simplified way. You have a little bit of the butt going back the way it's here. But I think just for realism and keep alive, I would add already a little bit of swaying back. It would start here, go back a bit, just a bit more ambient move in the chest area, even in the arm, a little bit of an arc in that head to then go in there. And this could also be further back here and kind of slowly going forward and then speeding up into this. That was my main reaction seeing this again after a while. That just felt a bit simple as in rotation stop, rotation down and then up. That to me was the biggest thing. Watch out, there is a little bit of a sideways hiccup there where I feel like the body is slowing down, almost kind of slowing down visually to the right and almost coming at us and then suddenly going a bit faster to the right there, right there. Rest seem fairly cool. I like all of this and actually I like your new idea and if I blend this in here, it's towards the ends, right? That's your sit down idea, which I like a lot, but it's also really cool to see this. Just the impact boom, on this and how the head kind of snaps down. And like stuff like that. That bow, push off with this, with the crossover. It's really great reference. It's really crazy to see the amount of folding you get here. That the straightness and then that the compression into this. And when then with that lean, right? So the moment you have more weight going over this arm since this is up that that lean down and compression there and it kind of how it pivots off of this finger anyway i know that's different reference in terms of your angle and everything but it's just cool to see but i like this a lot that that gets very primate in terms of just that hand here they'll scratch and hold i love this i love that Scratch, hold, slight look, like just long enough to register something. And then the faster look over. But again, with the complexities of a turn like this, and then it stops there, pivoting off of here, like that with a slight rotation change. And then having this arm here, like the way that is scratching, like that is great. So if you go back to this here, Watching this, there's a slight weird feel on that drop right there. And it might just be, I think it's again the one-two nature of this side rotates down. Kind of stops with a little bit of a separate translate back right through there. And it might also help you to continue a bit more like this to kind of fall further back because you're kind of leaning back. It might be a bit tricky. I'm also trying to avoid that massive intersection through there. So it might help you to potentially take this and almost go a bit further forward so that this is a bit more here. And then that off balance will be okay because then he or it is or she is falling down. <laughs> Not she, that's a he there. Is it? Look at the model. Yeah. Falling back down. Again, it could fall a bit here and even if it's get closer to this and almost bumps into this that might be that might be something good but that move back boop that just feels a bit fast i would just slow it down a tiny bit because it's it has that feeling of back suddenly slow uh, suddenly fast and then here suddenly slow just a bit like as if spacing wise you go here and then suddenly fast and then suddenly slow the opposite of what I was just drawing. So suddenly fast, suddenly slow, and then suddenly that swing. But that's cool. I like this. That turn with that and that scratch over this way. I 
think you can have a bit more. It's a bit even in timing for both of these. What? What? Just a little bit more contrast, and you can do like one like this, and then go up a bit faster. Keep one of those two fingers in, or two, or one or two, and then further out with one. Just a little bit of a slight finger change into that, and maybe even a bit lower overall. But I think this is really great in terms of what that character is going to do. They do scratch a lot, and has to, you know, like no human would scratch himself with the hand all the way through there they'll probably use that arm I, don't, I like this it feels very very appropriate it's good reference yeah that to me just the biggest thing is just that sit down through there a little bit the beginning that i talked about but yeah other than that it's still pretty cool thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.